the 40,000 minimum we want to have. Therefore, we're going to need a loan of 8,186 so that this 31,840 can come up to that minimum balance we want of 40,000. Okay, so there's all, there's our three months. If we total this up just to see what the total for the three months would be, just be careful if you do something like this. You, you, you got to remember that we're starting off at the beginning of the three month period. So we're not adding these three up. We're saying, okay, we're starting off at the 40,000 at the beginning of July. And then we're doing the total, you know, for the total three month period. Then we're going to add these three up. And then if we add this plus this, we come out to the 1,491,768. And then we can add these three columns up all the way down. So we're adding these three columns up all the way down. If we sum all these up, then we come up to the 1447928. If we subtract this number minus this number, the receipts minus the disbursements, 43840. And we had the total adjustments, which is the 12 minus the 8160 uh, because we took out a 12,000. Uh, we paid off the 12,000 loan and then we took out another 12,000 loan here. So this is actually a subtraction problem. And we, and we brought this out and that brings our ending balance to the 40,000, the 43,840 minus the 3,840. So these are broken out per month. This is broken out for the total quarter.